very good discussion this morning, and he confirmed um, in front of the press that he was he was okay. I think. Does that mean that his tweet was a mistake? I don't know. I'm not the one to comment his tweet. Uh, I always prefer having direct discussion or answering questions at making my my diplomacy through tweets. But but I think we had a very clear discussion. He is in favor of uh, a better burden sharing with, uh, within NATO. I agree with that. And I think that in order to have a better burden sharing, all of us do need more Europe. And I think the big mistake would, would to be very direct with you. What I don't want to see is um, European countries increasing the budget in defense in order to buy Americans and other arms or, or, or materials coming from your industry. I think if we increase our budget is to have to build our autonomy and to become an actual sovereign power. I mean, it's part of our credibility vis-a-vis -vis our people and vis-a-vis -vis the rest of the world. And, and I think it's fair. I think your president is right regarding that. And I think I'm right to precisely promote this idea. What I do believe is that if at, at this stage, Europe has to become a more consistent, a more sovereign, a more united and democratic power. And today, it's not yet the case. We built something very original during the past seven decades. But there is a new step forward to be organized. And this is the case today. Let me ask you about your relationship with Donald Trump. Um, he says, after, now that he, he's made up with you or, or after the tweet, he says, you have lots in common. And I'm wondering what that is, because he calls himself a nationalist. He draws on these populist forces. And you describe yourself often as a, one of the great opponents of these forces of nationalism and populism. So what do you think you have in common? Probably the fact that uh, both of us are outsider of uh, the classical politicians, I would say. And he arrived from, uh, from the business side. He was not a favorite. And uh, it was an unexpected candidate, and I, I was pretty much in the same situation in France. Um, probably because we are very much aligned in the fight against terrorism, and uh, we work very closely together following this, this line. We know where we disagree, and we are very straightforward on that, on climate, on trade, on multilateralism. But we, we work very well together because we have very regular and direct discussions. But obviously, you're right. Um, I would say I'm, I'm a patriot. I do believe in the fact that peop our people are very important. And, and having French people is different from German people. I'm, I'm, I'm not a believer in a sort of um, globalism without any differentiation. I think it doesn't. It's, it's very... Um, and consistent, and, and, and it's extremely, uh, it makes our people very nervous. But I'm not an, a nationalist, which is very different f for me from being a patriot. I do defend my people, I do defend my country, I do believe that we have a strong identity, but I'm a strong believer in cooperation between the different peoples. And I'm a strong believer of the fact that this cooperation is good for everybody. Where the nationalists are sometimes much more based on a unilateral approach and um, the law of the strongest, which is not my case. That's probably our difference. Do you think it matters to have a personal relationship with Donald Trump? Because of all foreign leaders, he certainly seems to warm toward you. And yet you tried very hard to keep him in the Paris climate deal. He said no. You tried very hard. I remember talking to you in Washington uh, to get him to stay with the Iran deal. He said no. I know from my reporting that you tried to get him to have a united front on trade with the Europeans, with the Canadians, with the Japanese, and to, you know, to go to China with that. And he refused. So it doesn't seem that personal dynamics matter that much with Donald Trump. I think it does matter. Um, you're right about the outcome on these different issues, and I was pretty lucid about Iran. I told you before his decision what was my personal feeling, because there is a very clear driver for your president, is that when he committed to do something vis-a-vis -vis your people and his voters, he delivers following this line. I do pretty much the same. I like to deliver in line with my commitments 
during the campaign. So on all the different issues you mentioned, it's a, it, it did and is doing exactly what he committed to do during his campaign. And I, I do respect that and I'm fine with that. But I think this personal relation in our discussions can sometimes highlight some issues at stake. And I think it is very important because it allows us to have a, um, a better follow-up. For instance, on Iran, he decided to leave the GCPOA. But finally, he did respect the fact that we decided to remain. And because of this personal relation in our discussions, he accepted the fact that we will remain in, in the GCPOA, we have a different approach, and we coordinate each other which for me is the best way to avoid a big crisis in the region and to avoid increasing the tensions. So I think it's very useful. On climate change, we still have very regular discussions. At a point of time, believe me, the US will join again the, I mean, the global community on that, for sure. Because your people want it, because your business leaders want it, your civil society wants it, so it's very important. So I think my responsibility is to try to optimize the situation under certain constraints. And my responsibility is to bear in mind that our bilateral relation is deeply rooted in the common past and has to be preserved beyond ourselves. Will Europe come up with an alternative to the dollar as part of the response to the, to the, the, uh, the uh, United States withdrawing from the Iran deal? I think today Europe is not a clear alternative to the dollar. Why? Because de, de facto there is um, an international extraterritoriality of the dollar due to its strengths. And till now we failed to make the euro as strong as the dollar. We made it. We made a great job during the past uh, years, but uh, it's not yet sufficient. We are too much dependent, our corporates are too much dependent, which is an issue. 